All indications are, Malika, is that Kawhi Leonard will not return today for game one. But he is making progress. He has started to shoot more on the court. He started more movement in recent days. That right knee inflammation has started to subdue. But he's going to have to get into full five-on-five -five contact before he's going to get cleared to play. Now, whether that's game two or you have two days off, two additional days off this week before you go back to Dallas for game three. But they're playing the hottest team in the league mm. since the All-Star break outside of Denver, Oklahoma City. And the Clippers need Kawhi Leonard to be able to win this series. 16 and four over their last 20 games, Luca, Kyrie, and the Mavericks. Well, well judge gate me for a quick second. Well, did Kyrie ever just receive um, a Kawhi Leonard? I'm sorry. Didn't he just receive contract extension? Correct me if I'm wrong. He did. He did. He three-year deal. A three-year deal, huh? A three-year deal, huh? You know, it's amazing. You just finished talking about, you know, he's getting where he's working himself back. He, he moved pretty well when it came to walking into the room to take those pictures to show that he was a member of Team USA. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. If I'm Steve Baum, I'm doing everything to sabotage that. Just this man can't be available for me. Yet again, we're walking into another playoff game and he's not available. I'm not questioning the legitimacy of his injury. I'm just saying, damn, it always happens. I got some numbers, Woj, and you'll appreciate where I'm coming from. Do you know since Kawhi Leonard arrived in 2019-2020, he's missed 41% of the Clippers' regular season games, 30% of their playoff games. They're 44 and 24 with Kawhi, 77 7 without him this regular season, by the way. In his time with the Clippers, they win 66% of the games when he's on the court, 168 and 87. Without him, they win 48% of their games, 83 and 89, ain't even a 500 team. He has that kind of a drastic effect on this franchise. We know he's a superstar player. We know how important he is. But what have I said about him all the time? He's ne damn near never available when you need him. The Clippers need him to beat the Dallas Mavericks. They're not beating the Dallas Mavericks without Kawhi Leonard. Can we, can we just ask one simple question about this series regarding Kawhi Leonard? Who guards Luka Doncic if... Kawhi Leonard is not in this series. Well, I got to admit to you, I mean, I don't know if they got him. I mean, in the three games that they played against the Clippers this year, Lucas averaged 34 and 52 percent shooting. So even when Kawhi was there, they got their behinds waxed. It's going to be, be it's going to be a team effort. You're guarding Luka Doncic with multiple players. Uh, Kawhi Leonard has played 68 games this season. That's, right. That's the most in several years for him. Well, it's not just going Luka. It's also Gordon, Kyrie, the Kyrie, guy that's yeah. playing alongside of me. If you're going to ask me who I trust, because now without Kawhi Leonard, and I don't know when he's going to come back, but the duo of the Clippers is James Harden and Paul George. And we both know in the postseason, we didn't see them fold like clean sheets. When it comes down to Luka, outside of Jokic, I believe he's the most dangerous player in the Western Conference. Now, when it comes down to Kyrie, especially when he goes up to, against James Harden, a matchup comes from, to mind. Stephen A., Wilbon, Malika Woj, do you remember when he went back to, when James Harden was traded from Brooklyn and Kyrie Irving went back, went to Philly. And I was there. Did to him. And they beat him by 30. It was an embarrassment. I mean, he took it personal. I don't know if it's beefing with those guys. I don't know if they best friends. But from watching this, this game right here, it put it on my mind that Kyrie is saying, you know what, every single time I match up with James Harden, mm. I'm going to give him that work. I'm going with the Dallas Mavericks to win this game, to win this series. They have the better pieces, especially with P.J. Washington. I love what Daniel Gafford. I love what Lively is bringing to the yeah. table. Tim Hardaway Jr. and Jason Kidd has been Jason Kidd behind. has. Let's not forget P.J. Washington. That's what, yeah. yeah. They, got, they, they actually now look loaded and have momentum and have a spirit about them, and that's why I give credit to Jason Kidd. They didn't have this a year ago. So yes, they didn't have some of that personnel either. Right. They were 9-18 and 18 with these same two guys we're talking about. Obviously, they got thrown together in a midseason trade. That's difficult. But the, the, the other question is, what is this the, the last chance, forget last best chance, for Harden to come through? He's yes, at home. He's got to. He, and Westbrook and Paul George and Kawhi Leonard all here in Southern California. This is all supposed to work right. out. You get a new dome, which is about to have a ribbon cutting soon. That's right. right. What's 
Can you have greater motivation for the Los Angeles Clippers at this point? I don't know. I don't know if you can, but I know you need to. Well, I know you need and, to. And Paul George heading into this offseason still mm. unsigned beyond this season. Man, it's for it. Paul George going to show up. Is James Harden going to show up and answer call? Because Kyrie coming to give him that business. And don't get me started on depending on Kawhi Leonard to show up. I just don't believe it. I, I believe him. I believe he's going to be there, Woj, when I see him. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I can't believe he's got a contract extension. I really, really can't. I want to try to post what I look like. Thank <laughs> you.